My story starts in August of 2017. I woke up one morning out of the blue and I woke up to some pain down the left side of my shoulder. I started to feel around where the pain was starting and I noticed that there was a lump on my collarbone. And initially cancer did not come to my mind. I thought maybe I pulled something at the gym. So I went to the doctor and the first doctor felt the lump and she goes, oh, there's really a lump there. And it's moving around, that's a good thing. So I'm gonna give you some pain medications, you go on with your day. It was just a couple of days later when I noticed that I couldn't fill my lungs up with air. My intuition, my gut feeling was that something's very wrong, I know my body. I went to the doctor, and a different one, and this doctor finally got me in and he said, sweetie, you're gonna get bumps and bruises all over your body, you don't need to come in for every single one of them. And I looked at him and I said, just, what, what is it to you? Just get me an ultrasound, it's not a big deal. And he told me in my face, there's no way it's cancer, you're too young. I was very persistent and he gave me an ultrasound and they took me back to the examination room. The doctor came in and he said, we need to do a CT scan. You know, I was just expecting to come in and leave with pain meds or, or something to fix the pain and go on with my way, but instead, he tells me that I have Hodgkin's lymphoma and it was stage two. I had a tumor on my collarbone here. I had another tumor growing on the other side and a mass growing in my chest very quickly. Three months, I did three rounds of chemo and it, there were times when I would just wake up and lay in bed and it was like a Mack truck ran me over. It was so painful. Honestly, I would not be able to have woken up every day if it weren't for my family and the support that I got. When the doctor said I have cancer, one of the first things I thought was, am I gonna lose my hair? After the second treatment, I mean, like clockwork, wake up and I notice on my pillow that there is strands of hair. And I think, Ugh, it's happening. So that night I decided I'm just gonna comb it out and I combed out all of it. I maybe had three or four strands. My, my mom likes to call them the loyal strands <laughs> that stuck with me. But it was really traumatizing. And in that moment, I was in denial of cancer. It was just as if I was not in my body. I was witnessing myself from afar, but that was the first physical evidence that I saw that this was killing me. That was very difficult to deal with. So I, I stopped looking at myself in the mirror. It was too depressing. It was just unreal. So I wore the wig. I hated the wig, so I put a baseball cap on. And that seemed to really fix the problem. I was gonna find the reason why I was diagnosed with cancer. I wasn't just gonna accept the diagnosis that this is now gonna be my purpose. We started to make cap wigs. It is a baseball cap with 100% human hair attached. And then we thought, we're not gonna charge people for this. It's gonna be free for anybody. Children, adults, any cancer, any income level, because cancer doesn't care who you are, where you came from, how much money you have. We've given over 600 cap wigs across the country. I read email after email from a woman saying why she needs a cap wig. I totally get it. I was there, I lived that. When we started to give out these cap wigs, I realized that I'm not alone. The Warrior Way is, it's a beautiful project. It's highlighting people who are going through very difficult times, who have been dealt a bad card. And instead of being down on their luck, they're turning it around, they're finding light in their situation, and they're helping other people. And in my own remission journey, it's been two years, it's really soothed me. It's given me clarity on why this happened to me, because a lot of women want why, why me? Why me? And this is why. This is what I needed to do, and that's given me a lot of peace. So now I'm on a search for warriors in our community. Every Wednesday, we're going to bring you an inspiring person or message to help you unlock your inner warrior. And these stories are meant to inspire, give hope. If you know of a warrior, you can email us at thewarriorway at 9news.com.